I'd like to thank all those who support us uh, on Facebook, Rumble, YouTube. As you know, they have demonetized us on the platform. So we do appreciate all your support. You can hit us up on our Cash App or our PayPal. God bless you, and we will keep up the great work. Hello, welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, Doctor of Common Sense. We got ourselves a case of two wild bull hogs who attacked an elderly couple after they caused the wreck. And the neighbors are afraid of them, and they have a sugar daddy. And the report says that this particular sugar daddy, he happens to be a veteran. And the veteran supposedly is afraid of them because they're like a bunch of wild animals who attack everyone. But we're going to take a look at this story, and you tell me in the comments what you think about it. Documents reveal Duel is somehow involved with a Vietnam vet. Now, while their relationship is unclear, documents reveal he paid for that vehicle that was involved in the initial accident and has given her hundreds of thousands of dollars. Tonight, neighbors telling me she's up to no good. My interactions with her have not been pleasant. This woman says she's familiar with Shaylin Duell's violent behavior. She asked Fox 13 to hide her identity because she's worried about possible retaliation. She came from my car, slashed my tires, trying to beat me up. She slashed this woman's tires and threatened to beat her up. Now, when you see the video, you're going to see how aggressive and wild these wild beasts are. I did grab something to defend myself. It all happened in this South Seattle neighborhood off 36th Avenue South just days before Duel was caught on camera. Now watch this. This is an elderly man she's having this confrontation. This is her and her sister, as a matter of fact. In this video, you can see her assaulting a 72 she hit him and then he hit her back. Old man, after court documents say she caused an accident while he and his wife. She cut in. The Range Rover is her. The the veteran brought her a Range Rover. It's in his name. He paid for her apartment. He also plays for pays her utility. And you know, it ain't got nothing to do with love, right? We're on their way to SeaTac Airport. Hey, you want me to pick the Investigators. See how aggressive she is? Save that dash cam video from the... Look how she doing. You want me to beat your ass. This is a wild animal. This, this is what I'm talking about. Most of the ones... This is the usual suspect. They are offended by everything someone may say, but they have no shame. Offended easily, but ashamed of nothing or none of their own actions. Why would this old man be paying for this wild beast Who's not even attractive. This is the sad part. But they need to be locked up in the book thrown away because they say that they already are felons. Both of them, both sisters are felons. And they're attacking them after they caused the damn wreck. The victim led to Duel's arrest along with her sister, Weldon Shavira Carey. See, these are, these are the two suspects right here. And... I guess I can understand why the elderly man who's very fragile, something he has Alzheimer's because he's forgetful, and the neighbors say they're taking advantage of him. When you see these people, these creatures, you're not surprised that they're acting like wild animals. See, these are the types that must get their weaves done, their nails, the fake Gucci bags, the eyelashes. They pretend to be ladies. But they act more like wild bull hogs. I saw a video because you think wild bull hogs are not aggressive. They can be very aggressive. You're going to need an AR-15 or an AK to stop some of them. There were one of these fellas was digging in a hole. And they tried to dig through the hole. This wild bull hog came up, bit him in the butt, and took off. This is the fellow. Watch this hog. Boom, got it. Bit him in the butt. Watch he jump up. He's going to grab it. But he's all, oh, that hurts. That hurts. Wild bull More of the story is you don't want to mess with these wild bull It's just awful. Like, who does that? And first of all, you cause an accident and then you want to beat somebody else up because, yeah, she doesn't. You can look at the pictures. You're not shy. It just seemed like they act like that. It's sometimes you can look at certain people on pictures. You can tell when they're going to be a damn fool. You can look at some people and tell when they're going to be half crazy. 
They may have a little boat. She doesn't take account. Look at her lip on her. She got a lip like, mm, that right, that right, I did it. Billy at all for what she does. Neighbors on and off camera told Fox 13 they're not surprised by Duel's actions. She's just wild, man. Court document. See, this girl says she's wild. And reveal the blue Range Rover involved in the July 30th collision doesn't belong to Duel. Investigators tracked down a Vietnam vet who admitted to buying the car and allowing her to drive it. Man, you got, why did you get involved with her? Now, I believe they said she was homeless and he tried to help out. That's what you get for trying to build sugar there. You know, no, no, no. You ain't trying to help out. There was some some hanky panky stuff going on here. From jump, I knew that was like I thought it was like a sugar daddy situation. I noticed her interactions with that old man and didn't didn't seem like it was um like a legitimate friend of hers. Court documents state the vet also paid for this townhouse where Duel was living, admitting to investigators. Why would you spend all this money? $250,000 they say he believed he spent on his girl. You looking at these wild beasts, you think they're worth $250,000? He had given her over $250,000. Neighbors told me they met that elderly man multiple times and suspected something was wrong. Definitely so. I feel like she was taking advantage of him. And we do know that vet is cooperating with investigators. As for the road rage and assault case, both Duel and her sister Carrie remain locked up facing assault and gun possession charges. Their bail set at at least $200,000. Y'all not even give them no damn bill because you know they're not gonna know how to act when you get out. Why, 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 why are we constantly trying to cater to these wild animals? These are wild beasts, and they're not gonna do the right thing. And the sad part about it is that these sugar daddies be going out here paying some people like this, lock them up, throw away the key. They're never gonna.